Good morning, and welcome to SBC Sports Talk Radio. I'm your host, Eli Courtney, well, Eli Courtney alongside my partners, Adrian Arezio and Nico Panos. Today, we're going to be talking about two big topics that are, uh, you know, a hot conversation point around the country. One is going to be the p- participation of pitchers in the home run derby this year, or the possible not participation, or the addition of a pitcher's home run derby, which I know Nico is a fan of. And we're also going to be talking about the Euro 2016 tournament. You know, the quarterfinals are coming up, and it should be a lot of good mashups. So, yeah. so for the pitcher's home run derby, personally, I'm in the avenue that the pitchers should be allowed to participate in the regular home run derby if they're chosen by the captains, but there yeah. should not be a pitcher-specific home run derby. There shouldn't be a pitcher-specific home run derby. I would like where they have a, just one pitcher. You no, you have to make one spot for a pitcher. But if there's but, but if there's always one spot for a pitcher, there might not be a pitcher who's deserving of it one year, and then that spot is wasted. Well, no, no, no. You're gonna add one spot to it. You're not, you're gonna still keep the same number of batters on for each side of, the, of both teams, but you're gonna add also a pitcher spot. It makes it, the game a lot more interesting. Who knows? The pitcher might but actually win. A, but if there's a terrible, if there's a year where there's a terrible pitcher and the t- pitcher's not going to hit any home runs, all that that's useless. Ga- Even if it's not taking away a spot from a batter, that's like putting Kobe Bryant in his last All Star game. He's only there as a showpiece. He's not going to do anything valuable. Basically, uh, you know, I I'm all for it. I'm all for pitchers being there. Brother. Why not? If they, you know, if they deserve if, it. Exa- exactly. Madison Bumgarner, a perfect example. He wants to be. You know, Bochy's like, you know, no. But Bumgarner wants to be in it. Why not? If it doesn't go well, then don't do it again. Hey, Jake Arrieta hit his second home run of the year last night when Apo Bapo, it's his fourth of his, se- his fourth of his career. You, you, what stops you? If if the player complies and the manager complies, I think that's another key point. Mm-hmm. You know, if Joe Madden says, yeah. like, look, I really don't want Jake participating. He's our, you know, he's a Cy Young favorite. He's our top pitcher, obviously. And, you know, the, the injury risk is too high. I believe that is the manager's discretion just because, you know, you're under contract with your team and, what? you know, your your health is valuable to them. What, what would he, how did he hurt himself, by the way? I mean, it, you, the ball's going like 36 know. miles per hour. The amount of times that there's, you know, a guy has a leg strain, an arm strain. The, the well, weirdest, in that situation, he shouldn't be playing things, in the first place. You're though. right, but the weirdest things can happen when you're at the plate. You never know what's going to happen. And I agree with you. Then but, the like, players shouldn't be playing at the All-Star game <laughs> in the first place if you're concerned about the injury risk. You're right. But, you know, it's it's like I said, other some managers have different opinions than others. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open up the phone lines on this issue, see if we have any uh, curious callers about pitchers in the home run derby. Let's see. Eight, eight. Oh, oh, got one. Already. We got one. All right. You are on Sports Talk Radio at SBC on the Villanova campus. Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is Dave from Cherry Hill calling and talking about pitchers in the home run derby. How you doing, Dave? You know who I like to see hit dingers? Mad Bomb hit mad dingers, dude. He has two this year, 13 in his career. You know what, like, pitchers don't get enough you know, credit for their hitting abilities. They pitch once every five games. They don't even bat the entire game, especially in the head out. They're like, come on, like, they get, what, like, two at-bats, like, every five days. You know, Mad Bum could probably hit more. He has more power than the entire Phillies lineup. All right, so that, that's my take on that. Um, you know, honestly, I really don't have a question for you guys. I just wanted to voice my opinion. I think I think pitchers should get, you know, three spots in the home run derby. You know, I think that's, uh, that's a good number. Um, so, yeah, it's a real controversial topic. You know, right, it's huge. Thank you for your... Uh... Thank you for your insight, Dave. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> All right, so so Dave seems to think that three pitchers should have spots in the uh, home run derby. I, I, that's Listen, uh, that's way too much. Uh, that's way too much. You know, my saying is pitchers who rake, and and you know, bad mad bum, yeah, mad bum rakes. Oh uh, yeah, mad bum definitely. But you know, three pitchers, you know, Wait, yeah. they're gonna have Bartolo right. Cologne. Right. Yeah, Bartolo Cologne. We all are kind of in agree- okay. agreement. On this, let's move on to the Euros. We've got some oh. awesome matchups coming up. We've got Portugal, Poland. We've got Germany, Italy. We've got Wales and Belgium. Belgium, Belgium. and Iceland and France. So let's do a quick rundown of predictions for the f- three of us, real quick. All right. So all the way to the finals. All the way to the finals. So I think, as much as I you know hate to say, it, I think that Italy is going to get it done. Italy is Germany. Just, Italy's yeah. going to top. It's a top tier team all the time in tournaments. They do not disappoint. Uh, Italy's just going to get it done on that side, and I think they're going to go all the way to the finals. 
Uh, and then Wales, I think Wales. Is really? Just, Wales? Wales? Wales is just Wales what, over you're Belgium. Be carried by two guys. Wales, really? Wales will not be Against Belgium. Belgium? They, Wales will not be Belgium, but they will hold tight, and they will. I, I, my prediction: they will take them to extra time, at okay. least. But I think Belgium takes that side of the bracket. And who oh, wins okay, it all? Okay. I think Italy wins it all. All right, so I'm going to go Belgium and France in the championship. Yeah. I'm going to go Portugal over Poland. I'm going to go um, uh, Belgium over Belgium, Belgium over Wales. Wales. France over Iceland, oh God, and Italy that, over Germany. And then I think I'm going to go 2-1 Belgium over France in the championship game. But do, don't we just want Iceland to win it all? Don't we I just think want, we all want Iceland I want, to I want win that it. announcer to just, you know, just scream, keep screaming. We all screaming, want six screaming. different guys named Sigurdsson to score <laughs> in one Euro Cup. That'd be, exactly. that'd be a great stati- uh, statistic to share, you know. Goodness. If he doesn't win the Golden Glove, if the Iceland goalkeeper doesn't win the Golden Glove, we will, shall riot. The streets of France. Have you seen Gianluigi Buffon? Buffon I don't care. Dude, Buffon, Buffon is se- close second. But that close Iceland goalkeeper is playing insane you're right now. You're Buffon comparing could be my grandfather. All right. You know what? That, and that man is still in, in exactly. outstanding so we, form right now. We will now. debate this next time. All right. Next time on the show, SBC Broadcasting Radio. Thank you guys for listening in. I'm your, I'm your host, Eli Courtney, alongside AJ. And Nico. Thank you guys for listening and tuning in today. Have a good afternoon here from the Villanova campus.